Christie 458 FC. Today's first vehicle has an extremely interesting mode of operation. If you're a follower of our channel, you probably know what we're talking about. But if you don't know, allow us to explain to you everything in detail. The Christie 458 FC is a hovercraft developed by the Russian company Christie Hovercraft. While it moves, a special fan constantly pumps air below the hull. The pressure difference compresses the air and lifts the vehicle over the surface by 30 to 45 centimeters. The friction force that usually complicates movement reduces to zero. This particular model was developed by people who are familiar with the harsh conditions of the Siberian and Far East regions. They made sure that the Christie 458 FC is a solid, reliable and very powerful boat that can withstand serious loads and challenges. It can be equipped with a Japanese Daihatsu four-stroke engine with a capacity of 27 or 35 horsepower. The hull is made of composite materials. The manufacturer highlights the wide range of available additional options for the customer to choose from. An additional advantage is the excellent cross-country ability. The Christie 458 FC performs great not only on ice and snow, but also on water of any depth, as well as grass, sand and swamps. The vehicle can be used even at a temperature of minus 30 degrees Celsius. The boat moves at a speed of 50 to 60 kilometers per hour on dense snow or smooth ice. On hard surfaces, the speed increases up to 90 kilometers per hour. Twenty Twenty One Mountain Max One Five Four. This amazing snowmobile from the Japanese company Yamaha was presented last year. The developers call it a legend, and there is a good reason for that. The technical features and performance have been taken to a whole new level. The new Mountain Max One Five Four has a seven hundred and ninety-four cubic inch two-stroke engine and an improved suspension system. This means that you'll get a full dose of adrenaline and, at the same time, unparalleled comfort. Skeezy Perhaps the only disadvantage that skis have is the need to push yourself forward with the poles, which makes your arms really tight. Snow bikes. Winter is without a doubt the least favorite time of the year among cycling fans. The cold, the snow and the mud become an insurmountable obstacle, forcing people to hide their favorite bike until the spring. The most passionate fans, however, don't have to stop riding their bikes even in winter. Special devices that turn ordinary bikes into snow bikes were specially developed for them. They can be used along with the bike you already have at home, so you won't need to find space for a new bike. You can find a large number of different models on the market. Today we want to talk about two remarkable products. The first device is called the Fat Bike Ski. It's a small, wide ski that's placed on the bike instead of the front wheel. This is more than enough for the bike to conquer snowy terrains. The rear part of the vehicle is responsible for the traction, as well as creating the force that makes the bike go forward. Meanwhile, the front ski helps it move through the snow without getting bogged down or stuck. The fat bike ski will appeal to beginners, experienced riders, and even those who love adrenaline, because it allows you to move on rough terrain and perform various tricks. The device will cost you about $800. Meanwhile, the Canadian company Envo offers a device that not only turns an ordinary bicycle into a snowmobile, but also makes it electric. However, it will cost you a bit more, about $2,000. The front wheel is also replaced by a ski, while a tracked platform replaces the rear wheel. 
it's set in motion the usual way by pedaling. The kit from Envo doesn't reduce maneuverability or convenience of transportation because the bike remains lightweight. At the same time, it has enough stability to ride on hard ice, snow, and slush. Bobsla. If you open this video to look at standalone, fully fledged vehicles designed specifically for snow, then you should definitely check out the following product. Bobsla is an amazing, innovative vehicle that combines elements of a snowmobile, a sled, and a go kart in one. Bobsla is driven by tracked units, which are powered by a 12 kilowatt power plant consisting of two motors. It allows the small vehicle to accelerate up to 30 km per hour. It might not seem like much, but it's more than enough for safe riding on snowy slopes. Pay attention to one interesting design feature. There is no steering wheel. Instead, you can steer the vehicle using two levers located on each side for the driver. As you see, Bobsla is an electric vehicle, and the replaceable batteries are definitely an advantage. However, it only needs two hours to fully charge. You can test Bobsla right now at two ski resorts in Switzerland and Austria. Twenty Twenty Timber Sled Ripper. It is noteworthy that not only bicycles can be endowed with the ability to ride on snow. The same applies to, for example, pit bikes, that is, small motorcycles designed for off-road travel. The Timber Sled Ripper is a set that greatly expands the capabilities of off-road motorcycles, allowing you to ride them in the snow. The manufacturer offers three models to fit the most popular pit bikes from Honda, Kawasaki, and Yamaha. They work like other products you've already seen today. There's a ski in the front and a tracked platform in the back. However, it's hardly possible to think of something more unusual and effective. The motorcycle shows increased stability, gives comfort, and convenience behind the wheel. All three kits cost about $2,250 each. Tinja Truck 2 The time has come to please fans of larger and more aggressive off-road vehicles. The Tinja Truck 2 is a universal all-terrain vehicle, which looks like a tank because of its tracks. The word universal explains very well the abilities of this vehicle. The Tinja Truck 2 really gives its owner almost unlimited possibilities. Of course, it can be used as a snowmobile to get to any remote or inaccessible place, but at the same time, it can work as a tractor, perform agricultural tasks, or snow removal. Also, the Tinja Truck 2 is an amphibious vehicle, that is, it can move on water. The vehicle is also a quad bike, which means that it's able to ride off-road and on swamps. The engine has a capacity of 57 horsepower. Travel speed depends on the terrain, and the maximum is 35 km per hour. Snowped. Here is today's latest snowmobile. Snowped was created by the renowned American designer Jay Reuter. It's a one-of-a-kind vehicle with a very unusual appearance. We can't even decide what exactly it reminds us of. A giant suitcase? A radiator? Or maybe even a ballistic shield? You can tell us what you think in the comments. In any case, it's made of composite aluminium. It's comfortable and light. The center of gravity is low as well, so the rider feels confident, stable, and keeps control of the vehicle at all times. The engine has a capacity of 110 cubic centimeters.